so after find command let us now go to the who am I command so who am I command actually is used to display the currently active user so whatever username you have logged in from will actually get displayed when you use the who am I command so I will just write who am I command and it will display my username on the screen okay so that is a simple command which is used to display the name of the user currently logged in user on the screen okay so apart from this there is one more command that we will do which is su command so su is the abbreviation for switch user okay if I want to change from one user to another user I will use the su command so suppose I have one more user on the system which is uh, which is named as edupedia so I want to change from root user to edupedia user I will write su and then edupedia okay so it did not ask me for the password because I am already the root user so root root user does not require any password to switch to any other users okay so now it is displaying the username over here edupedia okay and now since I am logged in as edupedia user okay it is actually displaying the name of the current directory okay when I was logged in as a root user it was displaying tilde over here why because tilde was my home directory in that case but in that case I am inside root users home directory so it will not display it as tilde it will display the complete name of the directory if I now log into home edupedia which is my home directory it will change the display of home edupedia to tilde whereas when we were inside this directory home edupedia when we were logged in as a root user in that case it was displaying the name of this directory okay so that shows that tilde is an abbreviation or a shorthand for the current users home directory so when I was root user and I did cd tilde it took me to the forward slash root directory but now it will take me to home edupedia which is the current users home directory okay so that is how you use the su command okay and now we can also test our who am I commands output so it will tell me that you are logged in as edupedia okay now if I want to log out as uh, edupedia so you can either press control plus D on your screen on your keyboard so press control and D together okay so that will issue a command to your Linux system which will log you out of this particular user or you can write exit so using exit also you will log out of this particular user okay so now I am logged in back as root user when I pressed exit so either exit or control D both will work suppose I press control D then also it will exit from that okay or you can simply write exit and then press enter so both of these will take you out of the new uh, logged in user to the existing uh, actual user okay now what you can do is uh, if like we were using su command to change to a particular user right now my directory is forward slash root which is the root users home directory now suppose I want to switch to ed edupedia user okay so the directory does not change okay but if I use su hyphen edupedia okay, su space hyphen space edupedia in that case I will be taken to the edupedia users home directory okay and you can you see pwd it will be taking me to edupedia users home directory so this is the difference between using simple su edupedia or using su hyphen edupedia okay so that is the su command now there is another command which is the who command so who command actually tells you who all users are currently logged in to your system and you can display the sessions in which they are logged in so suppose I run the who command on my system so it shows that there are three sessions on which I am logged in okay and it is also displaying me the IP address of the remote systems from which I am logged in so this IP address is the IP address of my laptop okay 
and uh, it is displaying over here in front of this particular session so PTS okay here means the method of uh, session how I have logged in so I have logged in through the shell command uh, command line system so th that is why it is displaying PTS over here and this is PTS 1 PTS 0 is another shell that is open I'll show you from where it is open since it is displaying column 0 over here that means that it is displayed it is open on the first desktop of your system so if I'll show you the virtual machine console okay here let me log in into it first got logged okay so here the console is opened okay so that is what is getting displayed and the first one over here is colon zero colon zero so colon zero stands for the GUI desktop one okay colon zero is for desktop one so f first thing is I have logged in through the GUI session also so that is over here okay I have logged in through GUI session so this is 0 1 uh, colon 0 for this and then within this desktop I have opened a terminal so that is why it is showing colon 0 twice so for the second colon 0 the session type is PTS 0 okay and PTS 1 is for the putty so three sessions are currently active and all those three are shown over here now suppose I open one more session so I just right click on my putty windows title bar and then I use the duplicate session so it will just open a similar session now suppose I log in using the user edupedia so I have two users right now on my system which is root and edupedia and I'll enter the password for edupedia so I have logged in as edupedia also so there are now four active sessions two from putty and two from the one from the uh, GUI desktop and one terminal that I have opened on the GUI desktop so there are the four active sessions now let me check by using the command who so it actually shows one is root logged in as the root using colon zero which is the first desktop then the window which uh, the IP of the system is colon zero which means that I have logged in on the same system okay here this is root the username then there is PTS which means I have logged in remote uh, through a console okay and PTS 0 which is the number of the console okay and then colon 0 means the console has been opened on the same system okay so that is the console that I have opened on Linux desktop okay and apart from that there is one more root login which is this one uh, the putty that we are window that we are doing, seeing right now okay and it is from the system 192.168.1.40 so this is the IP address of my laptop so it is displayed over there now we opened a new session from the user edupedia that also got displayed over here and it is also displaying the IP address of my laptop now suppose on the GUI screen itself what I do I go to workspace 2 I switch to workspace 2 and I open a new terminal okay so it will display a new terminal over here now let me check who okay so it will display one more terminal on the same desktop I have opened one more terminal as a root user so that is how it will display multiple sessions that are active now suppose what I do is from here I click over here and I log out okay, so I have not shut down my PC I've just logged out of those sessions so when I display who it will display unknown over here because okay GUI is active but no one has logged in from that so it is displaying unknown okay and apart from that it is displaying the two putty windows which are active right now one from the user edupedia and another one from the user root so that is how to use the 
who command okay so you can actually come to know that who all are logged in in your particular linux system using the uh, the who command now let us learn about the wall command so wall command is used to display a message to all the logged in users okay suppose we have like here we have two users who are logged in okay suppose from this particular window i write wall and hi as soon as i'll press enter it will display over here so right now on this window you can see there is nothing which is displayed okay so as soon as i'll press enter it should display on the other window so see here it has come broadcast message from root at the late local host and this is the console from which that particular user has logged in so this is pts1 okay and it is saying hi so this is the message which is displayed along with the date and time at which the message was sent so that is how you can work. similarly i can do it from here okay so in that case the message was broadcast message from edupedia at the rate local host and from the session pts2 and date and time is this and this is the particular message that was sent okay so that is how you can broadcast message to various users so sometimes when you want to shut down your system and you are not sure that how many users are actually logged in so you can just tell them that wall the system i am shutting down the system if anyone wants to save his or her work you can do that and if you want me that I should not shut down then also you can wall another message and I should stop so that is how that is one use case of wall and you can similarly administrators can use this wall command to instruct the users to do a particular thing at a particular time okay so that is how the commands for this particular video and i hope all the commands that we covered in this particular video were clear to you so you can just uh, see a uh, number of other commands that we have previously covered in our previous videos okay so we have covered the basic commands like cd pwd date ls and uh, the word count and we have also learned how to redirect the output of one command to a file how to redirect the output of one command to another command okay so all these things we have done in other videos so you can watch our videos on Linux operating system basics course to know about those commands okay